project is valued at 9.2 million. It's a design and build job. The main reason for the scheme is to remove the existing traffic lights on the road. Um, rock falls over the years have damaged the road so much that they've had to reduce it down to one lane. So by us building this uh, cantilever over the side of the road, it will put in place two lanes again, get rid of the traffic lights and allow the traffic to flow freely. We come up with a, a plan to construct the job using nighttime closures, um, closing the road from 10 o'clock at night till 6 in the morning. Minimised impact on commuters and also the local hotels and the business owners. We realised that by going with only nighttime road closures, we only affected 2% of the annual uh, road users, whereas the 14 week road closure affected 19%. The road itself is very narrow. Uh, because we're keeping the road open, we have to then create our own space so we can work during the day. The whole project is based on us creating a temporary platform off the side of the road. This allows us to place our machinery and allows the machinery to operate during the day while keeping the road open. Also environmental constraints. Um, SEPA are very heavily involved in this job. Um, because it's inland waters, um, we have to give them pollution prevention method statements before we do any of the activities. Um, so there's a lot of stakeholders in this job and it's a big consultation process as we go along. Uh, it's called a road scheme but really I consider it as a, as a bridge scheme. Uh, it's heavy machinery, heavy piling works, also a lot of marine plant. Uh, so very little building uh, but an awful lot of civil engineering.